Hey guys, Mr. Happy here, and welcome to Final Fantasy XIV of Realm Reborn 101. This episode going to very simply talk about gear sets and the armory chest. Now, a lot of people have been asking me how you unlock gear sets, uh, how they're used, what some of the uh, numbers mean. So I want to cover that, and in turn, I feel like I have to cover the armory chest because that's where uh, the, the gear, it's its the topic, gear kind of stays uh, in the armory chest. But we'll get into that a little bit later. I want to make this one pretty quick since I'm trying to cut down the amount of talking I do in my video. So I'll shut up right now and get going. So anyway... To unlock a gear set is pretty simple. Uh, if you've watched my video, How to Unlock a Class, it's the exact same thing. When you unlock a class, you automatically unlock a new gear set. So go to the guild, do this. So you want to be a class name, a quest, and then it'll tell you that a new gear set has been unlocked. So you'll have gear sets equal to the number of classes you have unlocked. Now once you do that, it's pretty simple. You just want to go to your character pane, as you can see here, and you'll see that in the top right, there's gear set and gear set list. So uh, once, once you do that, once you see that and it's unlocked, if you click it, It'll be empty, and you simply have to press the plus button in the bottom to add a new gear set there. It's very simple. But uh, as you can see here, I have two gear sets, but you'll notice that the numbers are a little strange. The numbers are well above level 50, so I want to clear the air about what some of these uh, gear set numbers actually mean. Uh, these default names show you the class or job and your item, your average item level. For those of you who don't know what item level is, it's essentially a way of measuring the strength of the item that you have on. It's mostly efficient at level 50 to describe items that are stronger and are tiered to, uh, to higher leveled content. So you don't have to worry about it too much as you're leveling up, but just don't be concerned concerned if the level doesn't match your actual level it's not what it's meant to represent all right guys so uh, i hope that's clear and uh moving on once you uh right click it you'll see you have quite a few options um equip set is the most obvious first one you have displayed set in log i actually didn't even test this one but i'm assuming it'll show you what the set looks like if not show you all the items in the set somewhere um you have reassigned gear which is pretty simple you're reassigning the gear that you have equipped to take over that slot you have uh you can change the set name and you, you can delete the set and you can reassign the, the set number which as you can see in the list one or two it would just be switching that reassigning the set name is simple if you just don't want it to have that that default name it's very easy and delete set obviously deletes the set so using it is actually very simple so all you have to do is use those commands use your default commands and it will work and it will magically uh, change your class and all the gear you have on but then raises the question what about the gear you aren't wearing where does it go Got a text. Probably should have turned that down. <laughs> um, but anyway, you're probably wondering then, where does all this gear go? Does it take up all my inventory space? Because there's so many different classes in the game. You know, that's got to be a concern for a lot of people who aren't really familiar with it. And for those of you who are familiar, there's actually something called the armory chest. As you can see here, it stores up to 25 pieces of gear per slot, weapon, head, body piece etc etc uh, even stores your job crystals there so none of this takes up your inventory space unless you fill up those 25 slots but when you make a gear set the gear will actually be pulled from here be put directly on your character all at once it's a very easy change and it's very nice to have something separate away from your actual inventory to place your gear so um that's really all there that needs to be said about this. The armory chest is something that people are definitely enjoying and I will definitely enjoy in the future as they obtain more gear um, you'll see when I start talking about some of the level 50 gear that there are actually a lot of options in terms of the uh, gear that you uh, buy. A lot of different sets, a lot of different uh, stats that you have to worry about. So there will be some customization and you can expect on filling up these 25 slots even before you level every class. But anyway guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you found it useful, please like, favorite, subscribe, and share. Especially if you have a friend who doesn't know about the Armory Chester, doesn't quite understand gear sets and how to unlock them. So uh, also check out my Facebook at www.facebook.com slash mrhappy1227. You can go there, ask me all sorts of questions, uh, pick my brain a little bit, whatever you want to do, uh, involve yourself with the community. It's really a good showing of how nice the Final Fantasy XIV community is, and it's growing every day, so I hope that you guys will join me there. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good July 4th weekend, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks.